Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Infiltrators. This is a new Elusive Target Arcade contract. I'll be showing you all three levels, Silent Assassin, and we'll also be doing it with a default loadout. Stay tuned for the future videos for an optimized routes with optimized equipment for this particular contract. So, level one, we have the Paparazzo, and the complication for this arcade contract is we're only allowed one disguise change. So, because it's default loadout, it will be from the red carpets. I'm going to start all the default loadouts everything is the same the only difference is i'm going to use the new ninja suit to show off how incredibly bad it is um especially in paris it's got to be completely broken the bloom is so heavy they need to definitely turn this down it's probably heavily distracting when it comes to seeing this in a video it gets brighter and brighter it's really annoying but uh what we need to do is get to this point right here after skipping the opening panning shot drop the gun out of your inventory and then drop a coin around about there a couple of paces forward that's just to delay everything, really. The gun is for his guard to take away, so he's by himself. We come into this room now, turn on that vacuum cleaner, turn it back off, and grab the wrench just on the side. Next thing we're going to do is hide behind the door. So as we see, his bodyguard over there in the back is taken out of the way. So that leaves the target all by himself. So close the door behind this guard, knock him out, pick up his weapon, hide his body in the nearby locker. We need to do this pretty quickly as well, just to make sure that is pre- quick take out your coin open the door throw the coin at the wall your uh, target should be in that position right there i've left the time at the top of the screen so you can match up the times if he's not there or he's slightly ahead then you'll have to restart because he is for some reason not in the same location you'll have to restart and try again but once we've lured him into the room we can take him out with a fiber wire and all we're going to do now is head to an exit with this beaming bright light on the screen don't worry, it's not like this all the time on every single map. It's only on the really dark ones, you know. But uh, Paris is definitely the worst um, worst offender so far. But once we've exited here, we'll get a nice, easy and quite quick Silent Assassin for uh, level one of this, the Paparazzo. There we go. Easy Silent Assassin. There we go. So now we can move on to level two. And for level two, we have the stowaway. And again, we have to retrieve the uh, Jimmy Chen's dictaphone. And again, no, only one disguise change is allowed. So again, we're going to start at the harbor. All the default start location and default uh, equipment. Here we go. So we are going to take full advantage of that one disguise change. Uh, partly because the, this, this, this suit is awful. And we have to get it off immediately because it's, <laughs> it's, it's dreadful, isn't it? Um, Alright, so we need to come over this location over here, pick up the brick that's on the floor, and throw a coin in the corner. Retrieve the coin once you've thrown it, and it's going to distract this guard over here. We're going to knock him out with the brick, and we're going to take his clothes, because it would suit us a lot better, and it will be helpful for our eyes as well. So go ahead and knock him out. Take his disguise and then climb up the pipe. So there we go. Give your eyes a little bit of a rest. Next, we're going to pass through this security room and I'm going to shoot out the evidence right there. And then we're going to immediately exit the room before they get all uh, panicky and spot us. We don't want that to happen. So we exited the room. That takes out all the cameras on the map so we don't have to worry about those anymore. And next, we're going to have to find the target, Jimmy Chen. So at this point in time, he should be hanging around the corner of this area over there. Don't want to get too close to him because you don't want to spook him. So we're going to stay on this middle wall and check him out from afar. Check out that texture quality. Lovely. So he's going to be talking on his dictaphone a little bit. He's going to be wandering around. And then eventually, he's going to head uh, over towards where the gramophone is. And that is when you want to approach him after Diana confirms it is indeed Jimmy Chen. So there he is, hanging around about the gramophone, just like I said. So we're just going to chill by this wall and face either way so it doesn't get spooked. It's going to take a little cheeky pick of the, uh, the gramophone. And Diana gives away who the target is. 
But once he starts walking away, we can now approach him and talk to him. Chill down. Uh, no need to freak out about a quick snap. I mean, th th these pics are, are like for my personal files. Let's just forget about the whole thing, okay? Whew. I think I might take a small breather. You know, been standing up all day. Yeah, you know, you, you gotta look after your feet in this business. When, when you're a waiter, I mean. <laughs> you know, nothing mysterious about that. Now, we're gonna want him to go upstairs because trying to get him downstairs is a little bit tricky because once he heads in the bathroom downstairs he stands right in front of the door so you won't be able to close behind him really irritating but it is what it is so you ideally want to get him to go upstairs so to do that just follow him closely and eventually he will turn around and go upstairs anyway so you just want to follow him upstairs don't get too close to him again you don't want to spook him because otherwise he won't change his disguise so Keep a little bit of a distance between him and him and uh, where you are. You can use my video as a guide to where you need to be. So he's going to stand there for a second. Just make sure you keep your distance. Again, this is a point where you can spook him. Right in front of him, there's going to be a room. So as soon as he enters, that's when you want to catch up really quickly and run in there and close the door behind you. Otherwise, he will lock that door behind him. Now. So literally, as soon as he opens the door, rush him, close the door behind him, and take him out any way you like. There's a little pair of scissors on the table if you'd like to use that. I'd like to use a fireball. I've used it for all three of the uh, targets so far, so I may as well stick to the trend. Grab the dictaphone on your way out, and we can exit the room. Just make sure you don't leave the body in the doorway for everyone to see. Now you can just take any exit you'd like. I'm going to go for the same exit that we approached from the start. And overall, yeah, it's that simple, really. But like I said, if he does head down to the downstairs bathroom, ideally, uh, you, what you want to do is follow him closely so he gets spooked and goes upstairs instead. Because trying to take him out down the downstairs bathroom is a little bit tricky. Because like I said, he stands in the doorway, uh, stopping you from closing the door behind him. And then it immediately locks, which is really annoying. Once you come through the security room, there is an enforcer in that room, so just uh, just be weary of that. And climb down this pipe. Don't put your suit back on because we're only allowed one disguise change. So I'm going to keep this uh, guard outfit on. Then enforce it to your right, but as long as you run past him, he he's not going to fully spot you. And again, there's an enforcer by the exit as well. Just be wary of him and his location. There we go. So once we've taken a little boat exit. A really, really choppy sea there. Be very, very difficult, you know, using that boat to escape in those kind of treacherous uh, oceans. But there we go. Silent Assassin for level two. Let's move on to level three, which is uh, the Collector. That's it. The Collector in Dartmoor. So we have to. Well, it's an optional objective, but we can retrieve the painting. Is exactly what we're going to do. Start in the main road and use the default like we usually do. And away we go. Your target is so from the very start, uh, very straightforward, we need to head straight to the, uh, the house. So we're going to pass through these bushes over here. And then we're going to jump over this wall. Were those bushes always there and that van always in that position? It seems a bit... I don't know, it, it feels like it's different, but I'm not sure. Though. I've played Dartmoor tons of times, but I don't remember them bushes and that red van being there. I don't know, maybe it's just different for this. I'm going to vault up here, and just in front of you, over past this wall, there's going to be a pipe in the corner of the area. You want to go and take that pipe to the next floor. So we are going to need our, an, another disguise. It won't be our one and only disguise change on this map, because it is, again, it is the objective. See this suit, it looks it doesn't look too bad on this map. It's actually how it should be, and how it should look on all the maps, really. But once you go indoors, it's when the bloom starts kicking in. It's really weird. Grab that feather duster right there, head into the bathroom, and throw it at the wall just to distract the uh, the housekeeper. I'm going to retrieve that as well. Once it comes nearby, you'll get a subdue prompt. Go ahead and spam that button. Once you've done that and knocked him out, put him in the nearby closet, and then take his disguise. Once 
once we've done that, we can now head upstairs. Now, if you're quick enough to get up here, you can get head into the room where Alexa is before she exits. However, if she is close to the door, you might want to wait out in the corridor. It doesn't matter which one you choose to do. Either way, we need to enter this room and head over here and grab the letter opener. There's no rush for this part, so you can choose to wait in the corridor if you'd like uh, for her to get past. I'm only telling you that because she's an enforcer, so you don't want to do it. You don't want it to spot you, basically. But uh, once the coast is clear, you can now approach this painting and steal the painting. Now we're going to head to where Cody Haynes is. Just be careful when you exit the room that there's no enforcers in the corridor. Now, one of the objectives is finished, so now you need to be aware that you can no longer restart the mission in traditional ways. So you'd have to close the application if you'd like to restart the mission. So Alt F4 if you're on PC, or just close the application if you're on PlayStation or Xbox, and you can boot up the game and start again. So we're going to head around this area here, avoiding that enforcer to the left. Come down these stairs. We're going to head outside towards where the greenhouse is, that's where the target's going to be. We're not going to pass through this doorway because there is an enforcer in that area as well, so we have to be doubly careful because we've completed one of the objectives out of the two, so. Now, there's like one or two enforcers out here overall, so you, this really is a good disguise to have. But we are going to need to take out one of the NPCs, so there's a guard right here, so what we're going to do is just chuck a distractible item. I, in this case, I'll use the letter opener. Chuck it on the floor to distract this guard and get him to come over. We're going to knock him out and hide him. Meanwhile, we can just blend in right here and just dust the uh, the old leaves on this bush right here. Don't mind me, I'm just dusting a little bit of a uh, bit of bush. But I'm just going to throw this at his head, knock him out, dump him in the crate, take his weapon and take the, throw the duster back. Now, we need to approach the greenhouse Usually I would put that guard disguise on because it allows us to do this part a little bit a little more easier but because we're only allowed a one disguise change we have to make sure that this guard is not seeing us drop the weapon which we're about to do. So I'll tell you about that when we get there. So at this point in time for me the guard, uh, our target and his bodyguard is outside in front of us right there. His guard is an enforcer to this disguise but he's the only person you really need to worry about. They're going to come into the greenhouse. They're going to wander about a bit. And then they're going to come back outside here and loop around. What we need to do is get rid of his guard. So once we get rid of his guard, Cody will then head straight to the house. And that's exactly what we want. So at this point, we need to be a little bit uh, patient. He is going to come out momentarily. He will stop at the door, then turns around and have a conversation with his bodyguard. So what we need to do is drop this gun, and we need the guard to see the gun, or Cody to see the gun to tell the guard to take it away. And what's funny, this is what happens, I'll drop it right behind the door like this, open the door, Cody sees it to go and tell his guard about it, the guard goes over to investigate, the door opens and he flicks it out of the way, so now the guard can't see it anymore. Quite funny. But it doesn't matter, we can just go and reset that, as long as no one sees you drop the gun. So let's just place it here, so... This time that doesn't happen. Now the guard sees it, and now he will do exactly what we want him to do. That's, that's one of the fluke things that never usually happens, but I didn't realise at the time the door would just be immediately closed. But now Cody will come head towards the house. The guard is busy picking up the weapon. And just before Cody comes past this area, we need to just chuck a coin in the corner, just like we did with the security guard a little bit earlier. He's going to come distracted over here. To investigate the noise, what was that noise? and that is when it's, uh, we're going to get an opportunity to take him out. So, you take him out any way you'd like. I recommend using the fireball because it's nice and quiet. Alternatively, you can just shoot him in the head or use the letter opener on him, or you can knock him out to make sure it's doubly safe that you don't get spotted. But once you've done that and put them in the crate, we can now head straight to the exit just over here. Any exit you want though, but I'm taking this one. There's no enforcers over here, so it's nice and safe once we've exited. And you get a nice user assassin. So if this is your first uh, 
Elusive Tiger RK contract from this week completed before the other one. What was it called? Uh, the, El the Elusa. Or what it's called. Uh, you want to lock that Neon Ninja suit that I've been using for all three of these levels. So if you would like that sort of thing, then you want to lock that suit. But if not, then uh, at least it's part of your collection. I think we've got so many suits now. I need to count them all, but it's, it's kind of ridiculous how many suits we've got now. But there we go, Silent Assassin, that will complete the infiltrators, so hopefully you've enjoyed it, hopefully that helped you out. Drop a like if it did, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. These credits have been updated, so if you've become a member recently, or become a Patreon recently, your name will be up on this list. Big shout out to Paul at Home, Bed Read, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Wandering Wendy, and Andrew Phillips becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. If you want your name read out as well, you know what you gotta do, just become a member just like these guys here. Just drop a... a click the join button below or click the link in the description for all the details and stuff like that thank you very much for watching i'll see you on the next video cheers